Hello and welcome to March West Junction Term D. Today it's going to be a little bit different. Uh, I've had a few requests just to have a look at the railway room. So uh, what I'm going to do is a small video just showing you around the uh, room where my layout's based and where my workbenches are. So uh, sit back and uh, enjoy. Okay then, I'll just uh, take you round and uh, just show you where the layout's based and uh, all the different uh, cupboards and things like that I've got for storage and uh, my work area. So the layout's based in a garage, which is a double garage. Uh, on this side should be my car, but uh, as you can see, I've got some of the granddaughter's stuff in here at the moment and uh, as we make our way round this is the way i'll get into the garage from the back end uh, over here i've got some storage tubs which is full of household storage at the moment uh, the usual fire extinguisher that you need as you're a modeler got myself a little fan and at the bottom i got myself a little heater as well uh, the whole roof has been insulated with the, uh, excuse the reflection off the lights, with uh, this uh, similar tough stuff to Celatex insulation board. I've got a TV as well in here with DVD player so I can uh, watch some of my uh, videos as I'm modeling or listen to them. Clock, first aid box, and then it's uh, fully electric. Then uh, onto the workbench, I've got myself a little mini voice there. And uh, then I've got these uh, storage boxes that I've done a video on, if you check through my videos, uh, which were some champagne and chocolates. And I just use them as uh, tall boxes. They come in really handy. Uh, I've got my testing rolling road there from Gage Master and uh, a little work cradle scale model scenery uh, jig for uh, keeping things square as I'm modeling. And uh, this is where I, I work from, which has got a nice view into the garden. So uh, it's not all dark and dingy. Uh, this is the tool box, uh, sorry, the tools that I had from uh, Aldi, uh, the 100 piece screwdriver set. And there's another box there uh, that's got all my paints in and then I've got all these storage tubs here which have got all my screws and bits and bobs plus decorating stuff as you can see and then uh, I've got my shadow board which is a bit sad but I do stuff with a little bit of OCD and then I've got these cupboards underneath that I keep all my tools in and things like that uh, all my uh, other bits of modelling stuff I've got myself a little stall there to uh, sit on while I'm doing my modelling. If I just open one of the cupboards just to show you what it's like inside. So that's all my uh, bits and bobs and extras and things like that. And I keep all my other stuff in there for uh, bits of card and scenery and uh, my soldering irons and things like that. And then as we move round, it's more work area here, as you can see, where the uh, shadow board is. And then I've got my layout. Now the layout is uh, eight foot by four foot, and it was a cupboard for storage that I built originally. And then uh, I'll put a layout on the top of it. It was originally for the garden furniture, but as you can see, as uh, time goes on, you start putting other clutter in there but I must admit a lot of it is to do with the railway under there it's all the boxes and things like that I've got loads of airfix kits and that there's my tripod as well to help with uh, filming and uh, this is uh, March West Junction 
the town side. And then, uh, <coughs> as you can see, if I come round here, this is the uh, diesel depot side of March West Junction, called March West Junction Town D. And uh, another thing that a lot of people ask me is what is the layout run with? Well, I run it on DC with the uh, Gauge Master Twin Controller there. Model B, uh, sorry D, and then uh, when I want to do uh, DCC sound and that, I've got the Dynamis which is connected up as well to the track, and I just switch between the two depending on what locos I'm running, just to give uh, different uh, options. I can't put chips in all my locos because I've got that many. It cost me an absolute fortune, so that's why I still run DCC as, uh, DC as well as DCC. And then uh, I've got my tool chest over here again with all my tools in as well, just to help with the uh, modelling. So that's it, that's my layout room. So uh, as it was requested, I just thought I'd give everyone a little show of uh, what I've got in my uh, railway room and how it's set out. I do suffer with a bit of OCD, hence why the uh, layout area and the shadow boards and all these storage tubs is uh, a bit over the top for keeping tidy. And uh, on my workbench at the moment, I've got a little church I'm working on. This is for the uh, Worley Modder Railway Club uh, for a little project we're doing that uh, you should see in the future. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed that and uh, I'll see you again soon. Uh, thanks for stopping by and bye for now.